with her practice as an artist, as a researcher, a teacher and visual artist. Now, she's currently teaching drawing and illustration and supervises postgraduate fashion and textile design students at the Durban University of Technology. She's fortunate to have taught drawing and creative approaches to drawing for design in a variety of disciplines over the years. Disciplines such as graphic design, textile design, fashion as well as workshops at the DUT Jewellery Design Department before it amalgamated with the Fine Arts Programme. She joins us now this morning to share more on her work and exhibition titled The Urban Camouflage Series. A very good morning to you, Lee. Thank you so much for joining us and a warm welcome to Morning Live. Hi, thank you, Sampira. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Now, creativity can be quite imaginative, I would say, uh, quite inventive, original. And understanding that creating artwork is a very personal choice, what inspires your creativity? Um, quite frankly, people laugh. Yeah. Everything that's... I think the subconscious is quite interesting because it just filters things through, so... It's one's work just it just happens that way. I really think so. Okay. And what time of day do you like to paint? I mean, is your energy different during the different times of the day or night? I'm definitely a morning person. Absolutely. It's also got to do with the quality of the lights. I'm very lucky in this little studio that I have got here that there's a bit of a skylight. So that really helps. I just find the night light just doesn't help me with mixing colors. Mm, mm. So the Urban Camouflage series, how does the title contribute to your understanding of that meaning? It's about disguises. It's about, quite frankly, it's about coming to the city. Um, I also came from a farm. And because I teach a lot of young people that come from rural areas, come to town, to the city, and it's kind of the trying to adapt to an urban environment, trying to fit in, trying to find your place. It's mm -hmm. definitely about that kind of, I don't know, either you either um, camouflage yourself in some way in order to, so it's about ad adapting, really, trying yeah. to find a way to adapt to an environment. Okay, okay. And what sort of emotions do you want the next person to feel when looking at this? People will always interpret an artwork from their own perspective, from their own lived experience. I think it's, you can't influence someone. You can't make them think or feel about a particular work. They're going to they're gonna get signals from whatever they've experienced in life. Um, so sometimes a work might, I might think a work is actually a positive piece, but for someone, for someone else, something else will happen. There'll be some little symbol and they'll be read in a totally different way. Sure. Even the color has meaning for people in a different ways. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And how do you personally relate, uh, relate to or connect with this artwork? Um, I'm just trying to, now that I'm seeing it, um, I, if I'm remembering the time when I was painting it, it had a lot to do with feeling divided. If I'm just... Um, yeah, like not, not always sure of where, where one is in life. Okay. And I think, like I said earlier, the subconscious has a way of coming through in some way and, and um, sending out a message. Okay, okay. And how much influence does your daily life of teaching have on the artwork that you do? It's not the teaching per se, I think, that influences the work. It's just these wonderful young people that I'm working with and seeing them grow over the years. Like I have them in first year and then I have them in, in third year and fourth year. And just, just you kind of privy, privy to the things that they go through. Not always totally personal, but it's that that really, really influences me. Yeah, and having said that, Lee, how does your work comment on the current social and political issues? With, yeah, my work definitely comes from a, come a, f comes from a socio-political perspective um, a lot of the time. I do use certain things to talk about my work. Um, I must admit a lot of, lot of the work last year 
has been about COVID that's kind of crept through. I do also use kind of fashion or the, the kind of disguise of fashion to talk about social issues. I use a lot of bright color okay. to disguise the hidden layers of what's underneath, you know, the, 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 it's like a subterfuge. The color is a subterfuge, really, mm, I suppose, mm, mm. for kind of things. So, okay. Lee, where is your work currently showing and uh, how do uh, people connect with you? Ah, thank you. It, my work is currently at the Art Eye Gallery in Johannesburg. Um, you can make an appointment with the gallery and okay. they will see you with pleasure. Great stuff. Lee Scott, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Peter. All right, thank you. We just spoke to Lee Scott Hampson on her work that is currently showing online at the Art Eye Gallery in Four Ways.